Hi, in this video, we will look at Go High Level's reputation management system. We will see how it works and how you can use it for your business or someone else's business if you're trying to become a SaaSpreneur. So Go High Level's reputation management covers managing reviews online. And that's not just limited to asking for reviews. That also includes managing those reviews, like uh, managing the replies and stuff. So first of all, we will have to integrate our social profiles or our online profiles that captures the reviews. Mostly we use Google business profiles to get reviews because that helps in, uh, you know, the Google reputation also that helps in SEO. So it's always a good idea to capture all the reviews on Google instead of, you know, everywhere. Let's go to our settings and let's go to integrations because we will have to, first of all, connect our Google business profile in order to get the reviews, right? So we will go to sign in with Google. It will ask us to sign in with Google and it will give me the Gmail I need to log in through. So you need to log into the Google account that has access to your Google business profile. As you can see, I selected the Google account here and then it asks me for a few options, few permission stuff. And when I grant these, they will ask me if I want to connect my business profile that's under this Google, uh, this Google account. Okay. So as soon as I do this, it should take me to that page. There you go. As you can see, it asks me which business do I want to link to this location? So I'll select the business profile that I have under this. And if you have multiple, you'll see them in the drop down. Just select the one that you want to connect to this account. Once you do that, you're all set. So just refresh the page and you'll be able to see that you're logged into Google. You've integrated the Google business profile successfully to this account. So yeah, there you go. That's the business profile. Now let's go back. Let's go to reputation. So let's go over the reputation management settings in high level. This is the oh, this is the overview page. This will show you the reviews you have, the invites you've sent, what's the average rating, uh, what's the trend over the last few months. Um, it will show you all the data because it's the overview page. Now, if you go to requests, you can send someone a request from here. So if you want to send a review request, you just select a contact that's already in your high level account like this one. And then, you know, uh, you can just do email and then the email template we will look at that but you know if you just do send review request this person will receive a request to leave a google review uh from you so let's go to reviews that's basically all the reviews you'll get you can reply to the reviews you can use something called review ai to have the ai uh reply to the reviews for you so you don't have to always reply to them but it's always a good idea to reply to all the reviews you get whether it's positive, negative, it has a it has a very good impact if you uh, reply to all your reviews. All right. Now let's go to settings before we go to settings or listings. So there we go. So reviews AI. If you do suggestive, it will generate a re reply for you uh, on the reviews page. So here you will see a list of all the reviews you get, and uh, you will see reviews AI have has written something for you. So you just need to liter literally just review it and click a button that will post that reply. If you do it suggestive, if you turn it off, it, it's not going to do anything. But if you do auto responses, auto responses basically means that it will reply it without showing you what the rep uh, what the reply generated. OK, wait time before responding. You can configure that, but I'll just do suggestive. That's safe. OK. Review link, that's the, uh, if you have connected your Google business profile, you always select this, right? Uh, and this is the link to leave a Google review. So this link will be sent to the people who, uh, whom you want to leave a review. If you open it up in a new tab, you'll be able to see it takes you to the reviews page. There we go. You, they can leave a review here. Okay. And then go to SMS review requests. If you turn it on, they will receive review request. They can receive review request via SMS, not just email. And it's a good idea to ask them um, through, via SMS as well, especially if you're in the US, SMS cost is not as high as Europe. So you can do that. When to send SMS after checking, um, SMS sent to user, you can configure that, but do not edit anything in this custom value because this will be replaced by that link to review. And then you can configure this right here uh you can do one hour two hours so I, I would say one hour after we 
add them to the review automation or add them to the review request uh, they get a review request okay so until click repeat this every three days for two times so they until they click on the review link right if this link will be tracked until they click on it every three days there will be a follow-up going out and there will be a follow-up going out for two times that's what it basically means so once we have configured it we can save it and also you can add an image or something to it same thing for email so if you uh, want to configure the email that goes out you can edit it from here right so that's the template we are we're using but if you want to edit the email itself you can do that by clicking edit template right that will take you to the email edit page so you can add your own stuff to it add your image add your you know logo once you're done hit save that's it okay now when to send email after checking same thing as sms you can do one hour until click repeat this every three days for two times so it's it's same as sms right okay once you have done it and as you can see it gives you different email templates for each retry so you you are sending the first one after three days following up for one time after three days following up for the second time so that makes three templates that's it and now you can configure each and every one of them once done go to whatsapp review request you can connect if you are using whatsapp you can connect the whatsapp um, whatsapp account here and then start sending review requests via whatsapp as well this is the qr code you can generate a qr code for review so you can download that qr code here and print it somewhere so if you're a local business you can share leaflets with them so they can literally scan the qr code that will take them to the leave your review link right and you can create a new one as well if you want like by, by clicking here yeah, right so there we go uh, you can add your logo you can add you can configure the text and stuff and then you can just hit save that will create a review qr code spam reviews you can configure that here integrations it's basically if you want to add any other platform to receive reviews you can obviously do that from here but we all we 95 percent of the times we accept reviews on google business profile since we work with a lot of local businesses all right once that's done you can obviously start using it from requests you can start review uh, you can start asking for reviews but we will see how to automate this part which is very important because you can't keep coming back here and then asking for reviews all the time um, let's go to widgets now once you connect your google business profile the reviews will be grabbed by high level and you can create a widget here so you can call uh, a widget here that says review widget and then configure that so that will so the ai summary will actually summarize the reviews that you've got uh, that will summarize basically the the position of the business and stuff and then you can do the summary position you can even turn it off if you don't need it review source so we have connected our google business profile that's why high level is trying to grab all the reviews i don't have any reviews on my business profile that was just a dummy setup um, but in your case it, the reviews will be fetched and then they will be displayed here and the type is uh you can do list masonry grid i always go with grid so that's the, uh, that's what you should do as well maximum um sorry minimum ratings should be any ratings or if you just want to show the five stars you can figure that uh, out here uh, which is pretty cool and then maximum number of reviews fetched i don't really select any number here so i just do unlimited as, as much as i can and when it's done go to the widget title uh, page so this lets you configure the title the description and also these stuff and then go to the theme so you can configure the colors as well as you can see it gives you a lot of options when everything is done just copy the code and just paste it on your website doesn't matter if it's a wordpress it's wix squarespace doesn't matter where your website is built just copy the code and paste it on the page editor in a block and that will display this review widget on the page there so it's pretty easy to integrate also if you want to um if, let me just save it if you want to display this widget on a funnel that's also very easy to do so let me just open up a funnel real quick so let's go to this one 
I'll just quickly show you how to add this review widget on a funnel page, which is pretty easy to do. Once the builder opens, we will just create a new section to put the review widget in. So let's do this. There we go. Add a column. Add an element called reviews. So you don't have to even select the review widget here. This will automatically appear. Just drag and drop the reviews element and that will literally put the widget here and then hit publish. That will put that review widget on your funnel page. So that's how easy it is. Now, the most important part is how do we automate this? So let's talk about it for a bit. Um, if we go to our pipeline, if we have a pipeline called leads, let's say, if someone becomes a client or if we just move their uh, their cart sold right or if we just mark an opportunity as one right we can also do that so let's see let's go back let's create an opportunity here so i can just show you what i'm talking about so let's see i i add this person here let's refresh Okay, so a lead has been created and the lead will obviously travel through the entire sales process. Best case scenario, we sell something to this person and we move them to sold or we move them to one. That also means that we've sold something to this person and automatically you can, you can have a workflow that uh, when you move someone to one, they become a lead here, not a lead, not a, basically a customer in this client's pipeline but also when you do that you can add them to the review automation so i'll sh show you how to do that so that could be either you move them to sold or you move them to one that basically moves them to the cl client's pipeline right so we will talk about both of these let's create a couple of workflows for that okay first workflow we are going to create is for the sold pipeline stage so if we move them to the sold pipeline Right. What happens then? Create a workflow called moved to sold ask for review. OK. Now the trigger for this will be pipeline stage changed. And we will configure it to say in pipeline leads and moved to sold. Now, if we move the, anyone to sold stage in the leads pipeline, what we are going to do is we will send a review request. So the, the action is called send review request, right? We will select that review type will be first of all, email, no override, um, that, no need for that. If you don't do any overrides, you can also select it here, but you know, this is the Google business profile I'm talking about and here. That's the email, right? So that's email. If you want to send, uh, if you want to wait for maybe 10 minutes, and then add another review action called send review request, this time SMS, right? If you don't do any override, it's going to go to the default one, which is the only integration you've done in the re reputation management uh, system, which is the business profile that we just did at the beginning of this video. But you can also manually do that here in case you have multiple stuff connected. So once we do that, we'll just hit save. Now, if we move someone to sold, we immediately ask them to leave a review, but that's not really good because they just became a client. They've not had an experience with your company yet what you can do is you can wait for 14 days or you can wait for 30 days either way right um, and then add them to the review automation now what will happen is you moved someone to the sold stage and the this workflow waits for 14 days and then sends them the first email request waits 10 minutes and sends the first sms request and then since you've added them to that automation, it waits for three days and then sends the second follow up. If they didn't click on that link, of course, if they clicked on that link, that it won't do anything. But if they clicked, if they never clicked on that link, it will wait for two, uh, three days and send the second follow up, wait for another three days if in case they didn't click still. 
and then send a third follow-up. Same thing for email, same thing for SMS, right? That's one. So the, the second one we are going to do is what if we move them to one? So we are going to do a couple of things. If we move them to one, if we move them to one from the leads pipeline, um, so we'll say move to one, uh, change pipeline. First of all, we are going to change the pipeline stage from leads to clients because they've just became a client, become a client. And then we're going to do ask for review so that we are calling this move to one change pipeline, ask for review. Now what we are checking is opportunity status changed. So that's not a stage. That's a status one lost or abandoned. So we are checking in the leads pipeline. If we move them <clears throat> from any stage to one, right? If we move them to one, what we are going to do is remove opportunity. First of all, we are going to delete, delete them from the leads pipeline. We, we don't need them on the leads pipeline anymore, right? Let's try it one more time. Remove opportunity. So we will say all contact opportunities in the selected pipeline. The pipeline is lead. So all contact opportunities. So in case there are multiple opportunities for the same person, we are going to remove them from the leads pipeline. And then we are going, going to create or update opportunity in the client's pipeline in the new sign up stage. And then we are going to say full name. The status will still be one. And then wait for 14 days. Same thing as the last one. Right. Then send review request, email, and then wait 10 minutes. Right. And then add them to the SMS review automation as well. And you can obviously do WhatsApp if you've configured WhatsApp, but that's how we use the reputation management feature in go high level. And we connect, we've basically through these two workflows, we've connected them to our sales pipeline. So if we change the status, if we, uh, if we let the system know that this person has purchased something from us, we basically add them to the reputation management system, which will automatically follow up and ask to leave a review in our business profile. So that's how easy it is to use the reputation management feature. And it's not just ask for reviews. It obviously has reviews AI, which follows up uh, or, re uh, you know, replies and just, you know, asks for feedback and stuff that itself is the review pipeline in high level. So hopefully this video was useful guys. Uh, always, you know, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and check out my go high level course in the description uh, of this video. And I will see you in the next one.